so we found another product. This one's kind of cool because it integrates a couple of things we talk about. Aviation and aerospace, food, and we have museums. Greg Anders, you used to, to be in the Air Force. I was. I was a fighter pilot in the United States Air Force. Used to fly F-15Es, A-10s, and I actually flew B-52s as well. So, any war? Yes, I took uh, the A-10 into Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, had 27 combat missions there. Thank you for your service. Thank you. What happens when you come back to uh, your field and you're there with the guys? What do you guys do? Well, when we get back from our sorties, we like to, uh, we have to debrief. Sure. Which is, we got to understand what we did right and what we did wrong. And right. so while we're doing that, to keep our throats wet, we drink beer. And to make the beer taste better, we eat firecorn popcorn. Now, how did this come about, the, the name firecorn? Firecorn popcorn is something that was started in the Air Force about mid early 1990s. Uh, we've had it for years. You go to any Air Force squad, fighter squadron right now, you'll find firecorn in the ready rooms, in the squadrons, in the, in the squadron bars. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to take that product out of the fighter pilot environment and take it into the commercial environment and tell the story of the fighter pilot. So we're trying to tell the positive side of the Air Force story. And this is, you know, fighter pilots today, fighter pilots of yesterday, and try to understand and tell that story very effectively. Now, my father was in the Air Force, so I have a soft spot for you guys in the Thank Air you. Force. Well, Colonel Anderson is one of my favorite war heroes. He's just such a great man. I've had the privilege of flying a P-51 on his wing. It was awesome. And I just, I think he's one of the greatest gentlemen there is. He's just so, so gregarious, and such a big-hearted man. You're going to have to come down to the Auburn Airport because Auburn got up enough money that we could actually build a statue for him. I think that's awesome. He's a hero in my heart, and so I'm glad to see that somebody's preserving his story. And I'm sure we're going to take some of this back to Bud and see how he likes it. Excellent. Well, I would love to get the review on that. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.